Hi, spiritual family. Elise here, your favorite herbalist from Spiritual Apothecary. So today I want to talk to you about two particular herbs, one being organic turmeric root and the other being black pepper. So I'm sure you've heard and seen all the studies and heard general talk amongst herbalists in the wellness community about the benefits of turmeric combined with black pepper. So turmeric is anti-inflammatory, antifungal. It can really help quell inflammation. It can help pain that's stubborn. So like pain from sciatica, pain from arthritis. It can help menstrual cramp pain. It can help migraines. But I want to talk to you today about something that you may not know turmeric and black pepper can be used for. So while you already know that turmeric is an aromatic, is anti-inflammatory, is anti f arthritic. Did you also know that it was antiseptic? Yes. So when people think about antiseptic herbs, they don't usually mention turmeric root, especially at the top of the list. But we have documentation that millions and millions of years ago, turmeric was used as an antiseptic. And the reason that's important is because they used it to clean out the colon from parasites and candida and fungus. In older times, um, when medication wasn't readily available, one of the things people did continuously to keep themselves well was colon cleanse. And I know that's a controversial issue today on whether you should colon cleanse or whether you shouldn't, but many cultures and communities outside of the United States continue with colon cleansing practices because they found that it decreased digestive issues, it helped soothe skin issues, rashes, and some people would even say some mental health issues. So colon cleansing was a big, big part of community. However, today, people use turmeric and black pepper to colon cleanse. It was used back in the day, but before um, it started being widely cultivated, it was deemed too pricey and expensive. But now that you can generally find good sources of organic turmeric root and black pepper, it's being um, infused back into our society, particularly in wellness circles, as a way to colon cleanse. So, if you go and look at any of the, you know, wellness trends, you'll see that colon cleansing is kind of coming back up. You'll see colonics, you see detox teas, ballerina teas. And I think the main messaging is that it's something that we could benefit from as a society. We have so many gut imbalances and issues with constipation or going too much or IBS and all of these digestive system issues when, um, our elders would say, are you cleansing your colon? Are you making sure that you don't have parasites? Are you making sure that you don't have an overgrowth of fungus that's affecting your daily living? When I'm doing these YouTube videos, I always like to give references for the information that I'm sharing and just share herbal knowledge because my spiritual community, our family, this is about us growing together. And sometimes it may be trying some remedies, sometimes it might be avoiding others, but I love being able to be coming on and being a free source of herbalism education. So I'll show you one of the books that I love to read, especially about herbalism. So this one is Nutritional Herbology, and it's by Mark Peterson. He's a naturopathic doctor and a research chemist, and he specializes in the chemistry of herbal remedies. Now, I love this book because not only does it give you the breakdown of the herb, but it also gives you dosage information and gives you the nutritional profile of the herb. So it kind of tells you how you should be taking it fresh, dry it, and extract it, whether in alcohol or water, and the volatile oils that will either react well in water or not and it even gives you pairings so if you're an herbalism student or just a person who wants to learn more about herbs this is a great research science back book and then another one which I've shared on my channel plenty of times too is the lost book of um, herbal remedies by Dr. Nicole um, Apellian she is an herbalist a survival skills instructor and she's also a research biologist so I like a little bit of both I like to combine the practical folk knowledge as well as research and um, biology where we can prove over and over again that these chemical compounds in natural things like herbs actually work so why do people combine turmeric and black pepper? Well, I want to start off by saying turmeric on its own is good. Turmeric on its own will get the job done. I think there's been some confusion in our health community that you have to have the black pepper. No, what the black pepper does is allows the body to it allows the body to absorb the turmeric more effectively. It doesn't mean that it stops absorbing if you don't have the black pepper. There are plenty of people, plenty of cultures who've just been eating turmeric by themselves and don't have black pepper or don't wish to add it. So I would say 
obviously if you can black pepper is really easy to get we have access to it combine it a little bit of black pepper with your turmeric but if you're like all i have is turmeric and this is all i want to invest right now it's fine and you can take turmeric a million different ways for a colon or clap for a colon or parasite um, cleanse, I would definitely up the dosage. I would work with a naturopath doctor, a naturopathic doctor, or do some research on your own about what you can tolerate, particularly the black pepper. If you have too much, it can cause some digestive distress. And the last thing I'm going to tell you is you're going to need to see your poop. <laughs> so people get freaked out about that. They're like, oh, how do I know if I've passed parasites? The only way is to take a look in that bowl um, or whatever you're pooping in. You can also send, you know, um, waste out to labs and they can test it and see if you have any overgrowth of fungus or H. pylori or SIBO or any of those other things. But Believe me, when you pass parasites, you will be able to see them and they'll be present. Um, you can make golden milk, which is, you know, taking your milk of choice and you can add turmeric and black pepper and drink that. You could drink that up to five times a day. I also handcraft turmeric and black pepper pills in my e-commerce shop. So they look like this and you get a 60 day supply and they're size OO, so they're about that big. And you can take up to six of these per day um, for, inflammation for pain management and you can also take them for choline and parasite cleansing so i hope you found this video helpful i just wanted to pop on really quick and explain benefits of turmeric and black pepper outside of things such as inflammation and pain we can also use it to kill candida in the gut and in the track and in the colon and we can use it to wipe out parasites when taken consistently paired with other lifestyle changes so i will put a link to my capsules if that's something you want to try i will also link the books so that you have the author and title and i hope to see you soon please remember to like subscribe share send it to someone who can benefit and i love you and stay well bye